Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you the tracking HTTP API for Pewik. So I decided to create this tutorial because uh, so far I did not understood actually what is uh, this tracking method about. Uh, it's really easy for a marketing person to understand what is JavaScript tracking, eventually what is PHP tracking, but actually the tracking HTTP API, even if you read carefully the following uh, user guide, it may be complicated for you to understand as a marketing person. I mean, if you are a marketing person to understand what uh, this is about and in which cases you can use it. So in my case, as I did not know um, get and post request, it took me a while to understand uh, how to use the tracking HTTP API. In order to introduce you how you can use it, um, my idea is just to show you like a small uh, chat forum in which I can, for example, uh, leave my name and post a message such as, hello, how are you? Okay, that's the, let's say, the, the small app that I created here. And behind the code, I'm using actually the uh, tracking HTTP API of Pwik. So for example, here is, um, let's say, the PHP script that I'm inserting in order to post the message and display the message. And I have this intermediate page that no one is seeing where all the magic is happening. So. The only part you need to take care about is the following one, which is uh, the curl function, which is working and which is sending the HTTP request that we want with the different parameters that uh, we, we want and that we need. So if we look carefully at the tracking HTTP API documentation, we will see that we need at least to have an ID site, to have at least the rec parameters and we need also to have the URL which need to be encoded. So this is where you need to be careful. This is written here that uh, your URL should be encoded. This is where you need to use an online uh, service in order to take uh, the current URL of your page and to be able after that to uh, encode it in order for your tracking to be uh, performed. So yeah, so uh, what's going to happen now is when I'm going to click here on the submit button, so that's this page actually. So when I'm going to push the button, um, it's going to actually send me to this page, okay, which is this one. So this page is here in order, of course, to let's say register the message that I'm sending and in order to make it available afterward. But at the same time, it will send also uh, the following post request. So the only thing that you need to have in mind is actually those lines of code. And as here I have a redirect to my main page, uh, it's gonna uh, redirect my, let's say, my request uh, directly to this page. So uh, we're not gonna see actually the page I'm sending the user to because I'm going to be redirected to this page. So um, if I look here, for example, within my um, local host Pwik, if I restart, I clearly have already some action which are registered because I already make some tests with my browser. And I'm going to see that, okay, currently I just have, whoops, take some time. Okay, this is the current situation. As you can see, we have four actions with two times an undefined URL and then two times the following URL. So when I will push uh, the submit button here, normally I should see here uh, the request which has been sent. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna just click on submit. It's submitting. Uh, my script is working, showing that actually there's my message here. So if I, uh, refresh here. Normally I should see, yeah, that actually the URL has been fired three times 
and the URL which has been uh, fired, let's say the request which has been fired, is the following URL. So, uh, yeah, that, that's it. I mean, I just show you how you can actually use the um, the HTTP uh, request API. And now, of course, if I want, for example, to add an additional parameter such as the action name and say, uh, so action name needs to be encoded as well. So I'm just going to take it here. Up. I'm just going to add this. So the action name equal. And then um, I'm going to just um, I don't know. I do not even need to encode it. Um, I can just say message, message sent, for example, and then um, I'm saving it. And up, uh, if I go here, and then then I'm firing it again. Say run on this is a new test. Up. Oh. And then if I refresh here, normally I should have an action name now for uh, this specific uh, this specific request. So here I have my message sent. So in order to make it uh, more, uh, let's say, readable, I should have encoded the URL and make a space. But I think you got uh, the idea of the tracking HTTP uh, P week. Uh, API. So the idea is actually to send either GET or either POST request. And in order to do so, you need to use, I mean, in the specific case that I used here, the curl function. And uh, you can find out actually this example uh, on the internet. Uh, it's just basic curl uh, function. And you just need to copy and paste it within uh, PHP uh, tags. And it's going to make the work. And now, uh, you understood actually the, the big things about uh, the HTTP tracking uh, PWIC API. I really hope that uh, this video is going to help you and that you will be able uh, to master, let's say, the tracking HTTP API. Thank you.